Have you been skilled in the act of witnessing yourself in your life? Do you allow yourself to be? Have you been pushed into spaces where you're doing things that other people have told you you have to do and you do it and then you give yourself crap about it and you're not skilled at witnessing yourself and just being with who you are and your programs and all of the things? Can you be unbiased with yourself? That's a good question for me. It's a question that I had to lean into a lot. Can I be unbiased and really witness myself? I have to step back and witness. And so when I ask you who you are, who are you? Are you the name that you were given? Are you the person that your parents built? Are you your career? Or what are you? And so in order to do, in order to hold space for me, I have to actually step back from my identities and then step back and witness the witnesser. There's a book called The Untethered Soul. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if y'all have heard of this. It's a guy named Michael Singer. Mm -hmm. Michael Singer uh, also did something called the Surrender Experiment. But the, the Untethered Soul speaks of untethering yourself in stepping behind the witness and then behind the witness and then behind the witness of the witness of the witness. And that is where we can hold space for ourselves. And when we can stop, we can, we can use the three Ps, the pause, the pull back, right? And part of the pull back is to being able to pull back and witness yourself. And so when we talk about the three Ps, we incorporate the idea of holding space into that for yourself. Pause, wait, something's coming up. Pull back, step back behind my identity and actually witness myself and then do a physical scan and see what's coming up see what the programs are doing, see how the effects are. Does this make sense? Do you see how the concepts are starting to come together? All of the Condor concepts stack on one another. So that's, uh, that's part of it. So another question I have is, will you allow space to be held for you by another person? Will you allow that? And some people don't like to be seen. And when we spoke about vulnerability yesterday, you know, it's a thing to be able to be open, to be seen to be raw, to have all of you be seen, even the parts of you that don't like you. Can you have that be seen? Or is everything a mask? We all wear masks, we all wear identities, we all wear these things. Are you in a position to allow another person to hold space for you? And that's another question that I have. Something that happens all the time in psychedelic experiences, people will be in their stuff, Things will come up and then the mask will come up and they won't allow another person to witness them because they're fine sometimes to be seen. And so this is a question I have for you. Will you allow yourself to have space held for you? And this is part of becoming skilled at holding space is to be able to be in the passenger seat or, you know, in the back seat being witnessed. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm.